Got some more good news to report with uh, some of the current rehab cases going on here. This little guy here, this uh, male red-eared slider, he was attacked by a pit bull in somebody's uh, backyard um, two or three months ago. Got pictures up on the Facebook of the uh, initial uh, intake assessment and uh, he had punctures. Uh, two over here on this side of the shell and one really big one here with uh, some little pieces of uh, bone were uh, missing and uh, his uh, peritoneal uh, membrane there was uh, exposed which is the uh, the membrane that uh, protects the internal organs inside the body cavity separates it from the, uh, the outside environment so uh, this membrane there that uh, internal organs are inside of this it was breached and uh, that would have allowed uh, any kind of uh, contamination uh, water or debris or uh, anything like that that could carry uh, any sort of uh, microorganism uh, in there and uh, cause him an infection uh, that that compromised uh, his uh, integrity of his shell and um, he likely uh, uh, if he had gone right back into the water with that injury he uh, probably would not have survived it because of the uh, water intrusion at the very least the water filling up his uh, his body cavity uh, could have uh, caused him to drown or uh, uh, suffocate because then he would have had that water inside his body cavity and his lungs would have not been able to expand so uh, took him in and uh, that uh, that puncture in that membrane I, uh, I, I sutured that up that took uh, that took three stitches there uh, suture that and uh, I had, a, had to t uh, take some forceps and um, take out a lot, a lot of the uh, debris that was uh, in uh, all three of these wounds and uh, clean it out and everything, uh, disinfect it, uh, uh, of course. And then uh, once I was done with all that, I uh, covered the wounds over with uh, uh, silver sulfadiazine, then slapped a couple of uh, uh, Johnson & Johnson uh, waterproof uh, hydrocolloid uh, uh, dressings on him. They're uh, known uh, as uh, tough pads uh, when they're they're sold over the counter and so slapped one on either side of his shell and um, left him that way for uh, the, uh, the last three months at least but uh, with the uh, with the hydrocolloid dressings uh, over the punctures in his shell this enabled him to be able to g get in the water and uh, swim and uh, void his uh, waste and uh, rehydrate himself and uh, he could also uh, eat then because that's that's one of the major concerns with these uh, aquatic turtle rehab you can't really allow them uh, access to water uh, with with an exposed uh, wound like that uh, for fear of contaminating the wound so you have to protect the wound but at the same time the turtle is going to stress and condition uh, his uh, condition deteriorate uh, over time because uh, water turtles at some point have to have access to water for uh, various reasons. Like I said, they're eating, hydration, and avoid waste. Uh, and most water turtles will not partake of anything to eat if, uh, if they, they can't get in the water. This uh, hydrocolloid uh, tough pad uh, dressings, those worked real good. A few days ago, I, I pulled those off to assess the, uh, the healing of the wounds. And he has some really good granulation uh, going on there. I removed the uh, old uh, uh, silvadine from the uh, the wounds that had that had uh, packed the uh, top of the wounds with. You can see here uh, as he got in the water, this uh, uh, this white you see here on the shell. This is just some residue of some uh, silvadine that was uh, smeared on on the shell when the uh, hydrocolloid dressings were placed over the top. He was ready, I felt, to uh, go back in the water and uh, didn't need any uh, dressings over those wounds anymore. And so this is, uh, is going to be a success story here. Um, this turtle now, he's, uh, he's eaten good and he's at a healthy weight and his wounds have healed and this little guy is going to uh, survive. He will be released in the spring.